everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your own custom fonts to Kapwing Studio. This is perfect if you have a brand or a style that you're trying to be consistent with, so all your content needs to have this specific type of font. Adding your own fonts to Kapwing is super easy, but it is a pro feature. You will need to be in a workspace that has the Kapwing Pro subscription. All you need is to have your .ttf or .otf font file to upload to Kapwing, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So we're in the Kapwing studio right now. If you don't know, it's kapwing.com studio, and I'll put the link in the description below. And to upload your own font family, you basically just can create a text box, go to the font, option on this right side here and we already have a ton of fonts so even if you don't have kapwing pro there's clearly a lot of options for fonts but in particularly when you're trying to create consistency with your brand and other content it's great to just have your own so just click more fonts up here and then there's a tab that says upload font and you can click to upload your file or drag and drop so .ttf files or .otf files are the only ones allowed right now. If you're looking for fonts, a good place to go is Google Fonts. So this is their website. There's a, so many fonts here and it's super easy to download them. Like for example, if I wanted this one, uh, I can just say download family and it downloads every type of this font that there is. So when I go back to Kapwing, I can just click to upload it. So it's this Modak right here. This regular version of that font is a .ttf file and you just click open and you'll immediately have that font within your library. So if I click that, my text is now in that specific font style. Um, and a great thing about this is that it saves your font. So if I go back here, you can see that this is the library of fonts that I've uploaded in the past. So if you're creating lots of different content for your brand, you can always just go back and click this without having to re-upload your file every time. Once you're done with your project, of course, you can just go and click publish and that'll be it. If you guys have any other video ideas or things you'd like to learn about Kapwing Pro, anything related to content creation using Kapwing, let us know what ideas you have for videos and we'll get to them. See you in the next one.